Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you how how to put in a design table. Up to now we've uh, been using configurations and derived configurations in order to build our part and the simple uh, variations of that part. And remember the, the big advantage of using uh, configurations is that it helps automate the design. But if it helped automate the design using configurations, using design tables is a lot more fun because you can do a lot more work in a shorter amount of time and it's really kind of fun to do. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, we have everything all set up. We have our uh, three different configurations with a derived configuration. And it gives us uh, six configurations all together. So the thing to do is just go to uh, go to insert, scroll down here to tables, and design table. Let's go through some of the options. We can create a blank table, which uh, if you're starting with just a basic part, if you hadn't set up any configurations at all, this would probably be the way to go. And you can just click on dimensions, add values to it, copy cells and uh, columns and um, and rows and uh, and Excel, and then you can go ahead and create your configurations that way. We could do auto create, and it kind of defaults to that if we already have configurations made, and that's the choice we're going to make here. Or you can grab a uh, table from a file. You can actually take this uh, uh, design tables and uh, save them outside of SolidWorks, and then. Um, you know, open those up and save those uh, for in, in, a, in a specific location and use those in a variety of different parts if you wanted to do it that way. So that's uh, those are the three options. Uh, edit control, allow model edits to update design table. I think it's a good idea. We'll go through an example here that will show us that. Or we could block model edits that would update design table. If you want to keep your design table nice and clean and make sure that uh, uh, some subordinates don't uh, go through and uh, change things to the design table that shouldn't be changed, that would be the option to choose there too. Options, new parameters. Yeah, if you add new parameters to your parts and configurations that are already there, yes, let's go ahead and uh, add that to your design table. If you add new configurations, you want to make sure that gets added to your design table too. But typically, from now on, we're going to be adding configurations through the design table and warn when updating the design table. That's a pretty good idea too, although that could be kind of cumbersome sometime when the, you know, sometimes when the warning keeps coming up and up and you're already used to it, you might want to turn that off later. But anyways, green check mark. What it does is it opens up an Excel file in the background. It grabs all the parameters that we already had in our in our configurations and puts them in that Excel file. If you click on the outside over here, it closes your design table. But you can, if uh, you're not really seeing everything, you do have the scroll bar over here, which I had to use to get over here to see what everything was on the left-hand side of that uh, design table. And you can also stretch it too. You have a little pull tabs on this. So it'll allow you to stretch it out left or right, up and bottom, or maybe grab the corner down here and uh, stretch it out a little bit more. That way you can see everything that you're doing. So all the information that we had in our configurations are here. Here's the name of the configuration, 2-inch lever. And then over here we have the description in capitals. If you remember us doing that, we have 2-inch uh, lever for the description over here. We have color. And it's a specific uh, color uh, number for uh, the gray color that we use. It's a default color that uh, SolidWorks uses until we change that. And we could change it here too if you wanted to do that. Part number, that dollar D means it's a it's a dependent variable. Uh, that part number is going to be a part of the you know it's got to be embedded within SolidWorks. We haven't defined it yet, so it's uh, not uh, uh, listed here. And then you have the parent. Uh, the parent uh, for these two configurations, if you remember, we created the two inch uh, three two inch uh, configurations. Two of these are derived, and one's a derived of a derived of the regular configuration. Uh, it shows you with the parent name. So the, the parent of this 2 inch no lever, the parent of that is 2 inch lever, which refers to that. And of course, the derived derived configuration of 2 inch no lever is the derived configuration of the 2 inch no lever no hole, which is that over there, and that column over there. So, these are elements that uh, have values that are going to be changed. We have some that are being suppressed, some are being unsuppressed and uh, some values actually being changed over here. So what we have here is Dimension 3 and Sketch 1, our base sketch that we use. That dimension for our 2 inch lever, uh, the, remember that's the distance between the two holes, that's going to stay at 2. And D1, uh, Dimension 1 for the hole pattern, that's uh, how many holes we have. So for that 2 inch hole uh, uh, link that we have, uh, we're going to make that, uh, we're going to give it 3 holes. So uh, in regard to uh, uh, the lever itself. Uh, for this one, which is going to have the lever, and I'm going to ignore that phone call if you could hear that. We'll, we'll catch that here in a moment. But uh, for the for the state of the lever, it's going to be suppressed. 
So uh, actually for the 2 inch lever, the lever is not going to be suppressed, the hole is not going to be suppressed, but if you get down here to the 2 inch no lever, that's going to be suppressed, and the fillet's going to be suppressed. If you get down here to the 2 inch no lever no hole, it's going to assume that these are going to be suppressed over here, so it's just going to borrow the values from the parents, from the parent up here, which is going to be suppressed, suppressed down here, and these are going to be suppressed. So that's what the S mean. S means suppressed. U means unsuppressed. So, um, I guess I can't ignore that one. It's too darn loud. But anyways, that kind of gives you an idea. And if you want to close the design table, click off to the right over here. And it updates everything. And in the next video, which we'll have pretty soon, we'll go ahead and get that. Um, we'll show you some different options.